After everything we went through, we're just happy to be here in Dubai. Of course, the city has a reputation for being quite expensive, but we're gonna visit three main spots here in Dubai, starting out here in the Dubai Mall, Burj Khalifa area, and see what we could do to keep costs down and make Dubai just a little bit more affordable. When you come to Dubai Mall area, there are three things that you can get for free. One is walking around this whole mall. It's so beautiful, there's so much to see. Second is the fountain show at night, starting from around 5 p.m. and I think it's every half an hour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The third one is the aquarium. Part of the aquarium you can see from inside. If you want to pay for it and go see the whole thing, you can. So of course, eating in the Dubai Mall isn't free, but you could come to some cheap eats. Five Guys, Timmy Hortons is here as well. And of course, there's an entire food court where you could get a meal for two for under 100 dirham, which is less than $30. We're gonna head inside now and figure out what the cheapest spot is to eat here in the Dubai Mall. Food court. Ooh, Thai food. Thai in Dubai. Tom Yum noodle soup for Gokje, of course. I love this. Chicken, not beef, unfortunately, and then for me, we got shrimp red curry with rice. After a quick bite, it was time to check out Dubai's free and famous fountain show. Modeled off of Las Vegas, but tremendously bigger. Like everything in Dubai. While the mall and the fountain area are beautiful, we were really excited to head over to see the real affordable side of Dubai. So we finished up with the mall and the Burj Khalifa area for now. In the meantime, to get around Dubai, the most affordable way is of course the Dubai Metro. And then of course, if you want affordable taxis, you're gonna be looking at the Kareem app, which also does bike rentals. Time to hop on the Metro. So just to get a one-time use card, it's actually two dirham, and then it's four dirham to go one zone in the Dubai Metro. It's actually really affordable to get around Dubai by the Dubai Metro, even more so than in New York City. So the great thing about booking a hotel or an apart hotel in the Burj Dubai location is you kind of have the old town right at your feet, but if you choose wisely enough, you could hop on the metro and beat the downtown Dubai or the Jumeirah Beach in 20 to 30 minutes by metro. So it's an ideal location and a great way to save money. The hotel here, of course, was only $55 a night. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. So today we're heading to Old Dubai in Dira, and the easiest way to get there from Bird Dubai is to take an Abra, which is an old traditional style boat. It's one dirham for the normal Abra. We opted for the upgrade to a two dirham seated Abra. It's very clean and very nice, actually. I really like this one. The top thing you could do in Dira is to check out all the different souks that Dubai has to offer. From its famous gold souk to the spice souk, there's plenty of window shopping you could do and even some bargain shopping that you could find right here in the souks of Dubai. Very delicious and okay. so nice. And after you finish up with the souks, you could check out the nearby coffee museum. Come in here, you pay 10 dirham, you're getting to see the coffee museum and having coffee. Perfect deal for me. Heck yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if we're lucky if we came at the end of the day, but we wound up getting another coffee on the house. You can definitely spend an entire day here shopping and bargain hunting, but we're gonna go get food. Which one are you buying? We just got mixed. Mixed, yes, a lot of food. Just 10 dirham, it's incredible how much food we got. See, that's how we do the Dubai cheap. If you're looking for something a little more local, there's plenty of spots in old Dubai to grab a delicious shawarma. You could have an entire meal for two people for under 10 US dollars. Dubai definitely can be affordable if you know where to look. Welcome to the Palm here in Dubai. We are going to see if we can keep the whole area affordable because this is definitely one of the more expensive, expensive. areas in all of Dubai. It's 10 dirham one way on the monorail, 15 dirham for a round trip. To That's Atlantis. To Atlantis from our stop. So we're at Atlantis. Let's see how much we could see without paying for much. <laughs> well, even if you don't go into the aquarium, there's plenty of these tanks that are out in the open in the middle of the lobby area. And you can just see all the colorful fish. I'm sorry you're so ugly. Oh, it's not your fault. 
staying at Atlantis is not the cheapest way to do Dubai, of course, but we were curious about the room rates. Around mid-January, the prices are around 1,000 dirham. You get an access to the water park and also the aquarium. If you're coming for a day only, you have to pay. The water park is 350 dirham for a person and the aquarium is 135 dirham. If we're two people, staying here will be for free if you're gonna visit those places. There's cheap eats here. We're gonna find them. Something better than Starbucks though, or Cold Stone. I'll find a good deal anywhere. Just do wait and see. No shot that's cheap. <laughs> but one can dream. Maybe one day. Which one did you order? We went with the shawarma fata, and it's like lamb, yogurt, hummus, chickpeas, everything. Wow, this actually looks really good. Ooh, that's a lot of food. It's like 10 US dollars, 38 dirham for a shawarma, or if you want to get a platter, it's like 50 to 60 dirhams, which is like 13 to 15 US dollars. Not a bad way to spend your money here. Atlantis here is definitely not a budget-friendly option, but it's one of those places, if you do have the budget for it, you could get outsized value for your money. Maybe one day we'll come back ourselves. Welcome to Dubai Marina. Exactly. And we got here by taking a regular taxi this time, and it was 26 dirham. So we made it to the Jumeirah beach. It's off the Marina Walk, and it is a free public beach, though there are chairs and palapas. We're gonna go figure out how much it is to sit there. I just went over and asked how much the palapals are, and I was told that one palapal is 110 dirham, and two of them are 195. Finger on towel, and just sit on the sand. That's it. So honestly, so far it feels like this is similar to Miami, but much nicer than Miami. We're just finding out that there's no alcohol spots on the boardwalk and we respect that. So we were told we gotta go find a happy hour in a hotel. And of course, happy hours have good drink deals. Gokje found us a great spot for happy hour. It's called Wave Breakers. It's part of the Hilton Jumeirah Beach property. Cheers. So the beer here was 36 dirham on happy hours, half price. You could get cheaper beers for like 25 to 27 dirham at JBR during happy hour. But the good thing is, this one was actually a 50 center liter pour of Carlsberg. Look at the colors! I know. We're heading back to our hotel. Yeah. And then we'll uh, continue on to show you how Dubai could actually be more affordable than you think, or at least you can get better value for your money than you think, so. Absolutely. You get to have a Thank good night. For this last one, we are definitely breaking our affordability goal, but instead of doing the standard elevator experience to the top of the Burj Khalifa, you can enjoy some food and drinks and a beautiful sunset for only a little bit more money from the Atmosphere Lounge on the 123rd floor of the tower. Quite exciting. When we were going up on the elevator, my ears were like, <laughs> Are we on the very, very top of this building? Almost. I think there's like a few more floors above this. I mean, it just feels like I'm on a plane. Everything looks so small and everything feels so away. Just for tonight, it feels good. Okay, we did not do Dubai in budget, clearly. But this was not something we ordered. They give a cake and now these cocktails as a birthday gift. And I don't even know what this is, but I can't wait to try. It's so exotic. I love it. Right open, there's no door here. This is so cool. 